I say hi? All right, we're doing a photo shoot today. This is Godfrey. What do you want? 4K? 4K30. 4K30? So left side is the best. Okay, awesome. All right. And it will incorporate movement and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to shoot at 1.8? Just do just okay. do 1.2. Just to show off what you can do. All right. Yeah. So right now we're going to shoot at 1.2. And um, shutter speed of 800. And ISO 100. Okay. All right. You ready? Nice. All right, very nice. Okay. I want to see the photos too. Sure, here you go. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. So straight out of here. Okay, so I'm using the Nikon and Nikon, depending where you're at, Z7 Mark II. It has the latest firmware update, and supposedly this latest firmware update has the best IAF detection. And as you can see, it is working pretty good with Sunai. And I'm using the 85 1.8 S lens. The fastest 85 that Nikon has for native Z mount is the 1.8 S. And excuse my um, voice, I got this second shot of uh, Moderna, so I got <laughs> affected me a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm not lying. And welcome back, Godfrey. Uh, film me again for the channel. Okay, so I'm gonna start shooting now. I might open at 1.8. Okay, okay, good. So now this is full body. Good posing. One, two, three. Let me take out some of the uh, information here. Thank you. One, two, and three. Very nice. Move towards my left so I don't get the fence in the way here. Good lighting. I'm happy the light's coming out for me. One, two, and three. Hand, can you make it go up just a little bit behind your back? Good. One, two, and three. Right above her eyebrows. So has a hard time sometimes finding the eye. One, two, and three. Okay, full body towards me, good. Very nice. IAF is getting a little bit confused. One, two, and three. See, sometimes detecting some nice tummy or chest area for some reason. Let me make sure you can see what is on. So autofocus continuous, um, full autofocus area with eye detect. There you go, now it's de detecting the eye. One, two, three, a couple more. And this would be half body shot. Good, one, two, three. Okay, good. Okay, it's nice. Go ahead and lean forward a little bit. There you go. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I think for the first time ever, maybe, I think so, for the first time on the channel, I have another photographer shooting with me. And this is because Michael has the Canon R5 with the RF lens 85 millimeter 1.2. And I wanted to compare to my camera, the Nikon or Nikon 
Z7 Mark II, updated with the latest firmware, I believe it is 1.10. And I think what's pretty cool is we have a really great cosplayer here, Sanai, who's been modeling uh, for a while. And uh, since Nikon doesn't really have any great native lenses at the moment, I'm using the 85 1.8S, which is my friend's. So special thanks to Brian Beneventi for letting me borrow that. And later on in the shoot, we're gonna have Michael also stop down this lens to 1.8, just to give you the, somewhat of a fair comparison. But uh, we wanna see which camera is kind of good for portraits, mainly focus on portraits. And I can tell you right now, shooting for about 10 minutes, it seems like the Canon has a better IAF autofocus. I, had, I did have problems with shooting Sanai because of her, her hair, her wig, around her face. The Nikon kind of got confused and started to think like her chest area or her the tummy abdomen. was like a, was a face for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Uh, but Sanai, can you please introduce yourself to our Hi, viewers? Hi, I'm Sanai. And I believe this is your second time on the channel. Yes, second time. Yes. The first time was with the Pentax K1 and uh, we were doing the cosplay Tokyo Go. Mm. Yeah. Uh, with my other friend Jaden. Yes, Jaden. Yes, and it was like a gender bender. Oh yeah, mine was. His own yeah. was like the original. Cool. And Michael, can you introduce yourself? How long you been shooting? And so uh, my name is Michael. I've been uh, shooting for about 10 years. Um, I've always been uh, Canon fan <laughs> but um, you know I, I'm very excited to be here thank you James for Welcome. reaching out to me I am really excited to do this comparison between Canon and Nikon uh, especially with the you know 1.2 uh, L series lens and mm. the Nikon's 1.8 yeah. uh, and I look forward you know to see you know to compare the two and hopefully you guys uh, you guys can you know, determine which cameras you guys would like to yeah. purchase or something <laughs> I don't think much viewers know but I kind of started with Canon a long time ago, 2009, 2010. Then that's the last time I actually touched the Canon camera. So, so. today yours is going to be the first. We're actually going to swap out mm -hmm. during the shoot and I'm going to get a taste of um, Canon's latest mirrorless offerings. Yeah. So we're working against sun and we're just going to keep on shooting until the sun goes down. Yes, absolutely. All right. squatting down over here. Okay. Chin down a little bit, Sanai. Very good. One, two, and three. So the physical differences between the R5 and the Z7 Mark II is the ergonomics feel very good in the hands. Both cameras, in my opinion, feel very good when you grip it. Both have a top LCD screen. The Z7 doesn't have a flip out swivel screen like the Canon does, which I think is pretty awesome, especially for video. The weight, Canon's a little bit heavier at 1.64 pounds. The Nikon is at 1.4 pounds and they both have weather sealing, really great weather sealing, but both really feel amazing in hands. Okay, a couple more. Very good. good. Dude, I used to do two hours all the time. No, I just do like 30 minutes or 45 minutes for my shoot. Holy crap. I try to just kind of, you know. Hey guys, it's recording. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, internal features of both cameras, Godfrey's using the nut. Sorry. Canon. Godfrey's using, thank you. We've been swapping back and forth. The Canon to film us right now in 4K30. Uh, but the Canon R5 has a 45 megapixel sensor. Mm -hmm. The Nikon has a 45.7, very close, but it's a BSI backside illuminated sensor. The R5 has more phase detection points at 1053. Mm -hmm. The Nikon has about 493 phase detection points. But I think the biggest difference is the EVF. Yes. Your R5 is very clear EVF. 5.76 million dots compared to the Nikon's 3.69 million dots. And that's the version 2. They carried it over from the version 1. I'm not too sure why Nikon did not upgrade do any it. Yeah, uh, updates or upgrade it. Um, but for this shoot, since it's portraits, mm -hmm. 
Uh, we don't really need high speed. Mm -hmm. Canon's pretty quick at 12 frames per second. Mm -hmm. And the Nikon's at 10 frames per second. I just shoot single. Single shots. Single shots, mm -hmm. yeah. So you tried out the Nikon. Yes. And is that your first time trying out the mirrorless? Uh, it's my Nikon? first time uh, trying out the mirrorless. It's actually pretty good. When I held it, mm -hmm. it's actually, uh, you know, the grip yeah. and the weight itself, it's not, you know, it's not something that I was kind of like, oh, wow. It's, it's really good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What about the performance of the autofocus or the eye autofocus to be more specific? So the eye autofocus, I th I, at some point when I was shooting, mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of focusing on her abdomen. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I had to kind of like, you know, kind of put it down and put it back up. Same thing I experienced. Yeah, so yeah. that way it can kind of capture the eye. Yeah. But the color is really nice from the, from the, mm -hmm. um, from the viewfinder. There is different color science there between is, both yeah. cameras. Canon, I think, uh, yeah, for my eyes, is more natural. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's because maybe they want you to post-process it how you I like see. it. Uh, Nikon is a little bit more punchier. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think Nikon's always been like yes, that. Yes. True. Yeah. True. Uh, so we are going to still continue. I still want to shoot with the Canon. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah, having definitely. fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll shoot till the sun goes down. Uh, Sunai doesn't have a second outfit um, because her outfit's kind of hard to like. Um, put on. Undress, uh, <laughs> yeah. put on, undress, and then put on the different outfit. So we'll be sure. shooting with this. All right. This is a very simple test of Sanai just walking towards the camera. I just wanted to see the eye autofocus and both cameras do really well in this test. The Nikon seems to be warmer in this video. The next test is very similar, but instead Sanai actually will jump out of frame and then come back into frame to see how fast the cameras can uh, get focus again on her face. So again, uh, Nikon looks to be warmer and a little bit more shallower. When Sunai comes back in, the Canon actually gains focus on her face really quick, really fast, faster than the Nikon. And this test, myself and Michael were actually walking towards Sunai and we are just testing the IBIS. The Nikon seems to be a little bit better in IBIS than the Canon. The Nikon seems uh, very stable. And what's interesting is the Nikon does not seem as warm as the Canon in this um, footage. It is. Good posing. Great job. One, two, and three. I like this lens. Jump. Okay, wait a second. Ready? Just a okay, and on three. One, two, and jump. Okay, one more. One, two, and three. Nice. 
Beautiful. And go ahead and go down for me. So we're done with our photo shoot. It's pretty interesting swapping between the Nikon and Canon cameras. Mm -hmm. I really like the RF 85 1.2 lens. Thank you for letting me try it. You're welcome, thank you. The, You're welcome. The bokeh is super smooth, really great 3D effect, um, very nice. I did notice with the videos, also the Canon had a warmer color to it, mm -hmm. but this is just looking at the back of the screen, so I still have to load up the files onto the computer and see how it looks like on the computer. Um, but Sanai, big thanks for coming out and helping us shoot this cosplay, especially when Easter is just around the corner. How Thank did you, you enjoy the photo shoot? Is there any um, preference for you um, on the cameras we used or? Uh, I guess with the behind the screen, I did like the warmer tone. It made it look softer, kind of like in a movie. But that's about it. Hmm. I know we got good shots. Yes, definitely. No, no, you did an awesome job. Oh, yeah. yeah, good job. Good job. You would high five, but the yeah. current situation. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, Michael, how about you? Uh, switching between both cameras. So I do like both. I, th I like both. Actually, I was kind of surprised about um, Nikon mm -hmm. um, with the mirrorless lens that they mirrorless that they have. Mm -hmm. um, the colors are also nice. Now again, it's different from the behind the screen and then yes. the from uh, actual, from the actual yes. uh, once you load it up in the computer uh, and so you know I, I can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out yeah me too yeah yeah we did uh, stop down both lenses to oh, well then I got stuck at 1.8 mm -hmm. but both at 1.8 and we just want to see the differences mm -hmm. um, I guess in color science and sharpness and yes. bokeh um, but yeah uh, quick shoots in my opinion I know used to shooting 30 45 minutes yes. I'm used to doing like two hour shoots just to make sure I get everything in, but I think we got a lot of good photos. I think so too. I agree. Yeah. I think uh, the location is really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, the weather cooperated. Oh yeah. It Started to rain, a, little rain a little bit. And yeah. uh, we had a little bit of a rainbow earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then it turned out pretty good. It's actually not too warm. You know, it's pretty cool as far as the yeah. breeze. Yeah. Cool. My buns are cold. <laughs> I'm sorry? My buns are cold. Oh. I know we're wearing shorts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Bye. All right. Let's look at some raw files. First, I want to check out the highlight recovery for both cameras. I tried to choose similar photos. This is the Nikon Z7 Mark II. Highlight recovery is very good with this camera, especially shadows. Shadow recovery. Very good. Same thing with the Canon R5. Um, see all the highlights here and some nice hair. I can bring down the highlights, get a lot of detail back. And same thing with the shadows in the background. I can increase the shadows and get some shadow detail back. So both cameras, very good and dynamic range. Next set of photos. These have been shot both at 1.8. Very similar background rendering. Let me just put them together side by side. I will always make the Nikon on the left hand side. So just looking at the uh, bokeh at 1.8, we try to make it similar with both lenses. The Canon is still rendering on the right hand side. It is very similar, but a lot of people do say that the Canon stopped down, the Canon 85 1.2 stopped down to 1.8 still seems like it has a shallower depth of field and i can see that here uh, especially in the uh tracer it seems like the canon is shallower than 1.8 just for some reason pretty interesting uh, so then set of photos the color profile what i usually do with the nikon is from Adobe Color, I set it to Camera Standard. And when you do that, pretty much the file comes to life. Same thing with here. Uh, Adobe Color, set it to Camera Standard, and then the whole thing comes to life and highlight recovery is very good, bring back the sky. But with the Canon files, and I think Michael was shooting this uh, manual mode, so maybe it's a little bit underexposed, but I can make it better to match the Nikons. 
there is no color profile for this CR3 file. I even went to manage profiles, everything is checkmarked. I scroll down, there isn't any camera profiles where I can select. So I'm just using Adobe Color. And for the white balance, I'm setting it to auto, highlight recovery down. So it kind of matches if I go back to these two files and put them side by side, like on the left hand side, kind of matches a little bit, kind of less vibrant. Uh, but again, a lot of people like a flat uh, color profile with the Canon so they can really edit it to their taste. Okay, so these both have been shot 1.8. I'm just gonna reset them both and make the cat a little bit brighter. There we go. And we're going to look at both lenses close up at 1.8, zooming into Nikon left hand side, zooming into Sennheiser's eye. And I'm gonna try to match them up. The can of file is loading. Both lenses look very, very sharp. Actually, the Canon looks slightly sharper. This is a very, very sharp lens, the 85 1.8. Now, it really depends on the lighting uh, with skin tones with the Canon. Uh, let me just do auto white balance here. Go back to Nikon. Uh, there we go and they're very similar compare both of them nikon left hand side and the canon was shot at 1.2 on purpose just so we can see the difference in shallow depth of field and yes it really gives a 3d pop with the r5 and 85 1.2 uh, but both of these pictures are very similar in color uh, just zooming into sunai's face I can see why a lot of people prefer Canon skin tones. It seems to be more uh, hard to explain. Uh, seems to be more accurate as um, what as Sunai skin would be in real life. Pretty interesting. Uh, next set of photos again, uh, one point two. He's a little bit brighter uh, with 1.8 and this is really apparent with the skin tones I can even do auto white balance here and let's compare the two side by side and just zooming in let me lock the zoom here um, kind of file always loads for some reason not too sure why um, but yes yeah, skin tones with the Canon is pretty good even wide open on 1.2 man the can is just so sharp and it really gives a shallower depth of field that this 1.2 lens really gives it a 3d pop um, and this lens is excellent for portraits so if you're deciding between these two cameras it's going to be a hard decision the nikon is pretty strong in its raw files the colors are really good if you set the color profile to camera standard the Nikon does have better IBIS, I feel, than the Canon R5. I also feel like the form factor, um, the body is really small. The Nikon paired with the 24 to 70, it's a really good travel system. The Canon R5, uh, it looks pretty good in skin tones to me. I like the screen, the way it flips out and flips around, uh, so you can do some vlogging or record yourself for YouTube like I'm doing now. The Canon also has really great eye autofocus. The Nikon kind of struggled in that because Sanai was wearing uh, her wig and the Nikon was updated to the latest firmware, I believe it was 1.1 and uh, still struggled a little bit. The lenses are kind of lacking for the Z mount right now as of April 2021 but Nikon will come out with 1.2 lenses soon but a lot of people would argue that the 1.8 lens 1.8 s lenses are as good um, or better than Nikon 1.4 um, f mount lenses Canon does have really 
um, attractive glass right now. I really love the 85 1.2, it's very nice. And also very expensive, the 28 to 70 F2 is also very nice. All in one lens if you wanna do portraits or events. Uh, but then again, the R5 system is more expensive than the Nikon system. You can look it up online um, and compare the prices, but the R5 is about $800 more just for the body alone compared to the Nikon Z7 Mark II as of April 2021. So it really depends on your needs and what you want to uh, prioritize in a camera system. Uh, a lot of people may just want a smaller form factor and great colors out of the camera and the eye autofocus for the Nikon is good for them and the lenses are more affordable, the 1.8S lenses, then they will go for the Nikon system. Uh, but maybe somebody used to shoot Canon, went to Sony or Fujifilm, I want to go back to the cam mirror system, the R5 is a really great camera. And if they're willing to spend that much money for the um, um, better IAF than Nikon or the better um, screen, the way it flips out and the better skin tones, uh, I will say IBIS isn't as good as the Nikon with the Canon. Um, but again, like it says, it's really uh, about well, what your needs are. Um, but the Canon R5, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a really great camera system and if someone's willing to jump back to what they used to shoot Canon, then I would go for it. Um, but if you're new to mirror, the mirrorless um, camera systems, you just have to look at which one would satisfy your needs um, uh, first and foremost. Uh, if you have any questions about each camera system, you can drop a comment and I'll do my best to respond right away. But tell me which camera system would you go for, the Nikon Z7 Mark II or the Canon R5? Thank you for watching Guam Photography. If you haven't, please subscribe.